More protests planned as well, Christy, in the coming days. Six days of protests now. Very difficult to get a reading on this because of the nature of Syria. Very closed state, the media controlled, the web heavily censored and monitored. I've been on the phone with some people inside the country and their reading is this. What we're seeing here is a localised protest movement with the capacity to go wider. Now this is a, a heavily tribalized area, heavily Islamic area according to the people that I've spoken to. It has a history of this type of unrest which in the past has been dealt with very very severely by the government. Now also these protests seem to be reacting to events at this point. Initially it was a protest about the release of people they see as political prisoners. Then of course there were deaths last uh, last week over the past few days. The protests of those, uh, the burials of, of those people have sparked more unrest, more protests and we've seen these events today. Now it's based around a combination of local grievances plus the wider issues of freedom and democracy, respect for law, respect for human rights. Apparently people are now watching this within Syria and wondering how will this play out? Will the government crack down hard? Will the protest continue? Will the protest gather steam? And then will other cities throughout the, the country actually join this? What we are hearing from people inside the country is this. F fear is being conquered. The people no longer af feel afraid. They feel they can go on the streets and express their grievances. And that has the government worried that this may in fact spread. Christy? So your sources in Syria telling you that these right now are localized protests, but with the potential to get much, much bigger. What is your thought on this? Could this turn yeah. into a revolution like what we've seen in Egypt and Tunisia? Well, certainly if you look at the pattern, what did we see in Tunisia? We saw a local protest, one man, that sparked a wider movement. We saw the protest gathering momentum in Egypt. We've seen the events in Libya. It seems to follow a pattern of, of protest that gathers, that, that becomes much more widespread. You see uh, uh, indications from the government of some sort of concession. We've also seen that in the likes of Yemen. And then a hard line crackdown. It seems to be, be following the same pattern. But Syria, of course, is different in that it is a very, very closed state. We've seen these type of, uh, this type of unrest in past years, in past decades, and it's been cracked down on severely. So it, it's, it's not the same as, uh, as those other countries in that it is a very different state, very, very heavily, much more heavily controlled, and therefore there is this concern that the government will be able to stamp it out. But at the moment, localised, uh, but people are watching it very, very closely to see if this is in fact a spark that can spread much more widely.